Dying on schedule, an astounding feature of the standard high pressure sales job for cancer treatment is what the doctor in godlike fashion delivers that Wagnerian pronouncement, pronouncement that the patient has X years to live. Very sorry to tell you this, but you probably have less than a year. Hard to understand why most people would want to follow any advice from someone who has just told them, who just told them that because what the doctor is saying is that according to our best estimates, using our available technology, drugs, and procedures, our experience with patients who have what you have puts, our, puts your life expectancy at defies belief that most people just roll over and comply without any objections whatsoever. Social Doranism, what a more logical, thoughtful individual might perceive from such a death sentence is that they, is that, hey, this guy is telling me what will likely happen if I stick around and do what they say. Time for me to start looking around for a second opinion and see if I could find out about some other solutions to my situation that don't involve casket selection and a dude lurking in the shadows in a hoodie carrying um, a stethoscope over one shoulder. Like a cure, for example, or survival. Somebody somewhere must have better information than this for my little problem. It's a big world out there. And that's exactly how I thought. It's a big world out there. And I saw other people who were healing themselves. You know, I, the last word can't be the doctor who's telling me I need to do this, I need to do that, or, you know, to the point where I did do the surgery. I had a double mastectomy, um, I had a lump in my breast. I had been following a cancer protocol, meaning doing all the holistic and natural things. Funny thing is that that lump in my breast, the amount of time that I had it and had been using the cancer protocol, it never spread. It stayed right there. It didn't sp spread to any lymph nodes. Can you imagine that? Oh, ye of little faith. That was me, but, you know, like I said, God, really? Should I do the surgery? I kept just seeing too many signs, and maybe I'll talk to you about that. But um, it never spread because I didn't feed it. I did not feed that cancer. I kept doing, I had to believe in someone else, in something else in this big world, and all of these other people on YouTube who are curing, their body, curing themselves from stage four cancer, stage three, and they're telling you what they're doing. That's why I spent $20,000, $30,000, jumped on a plane, and went to Mexico, and went through the process because I figured that money sitting there, you know, or not asking for help, what good is that doing me? You know, just let, just staying quiet and just watch myself die because I don't want to expose myself and let people see what's happening to me and share what millions of other people in this country are going to experience and have already experienced. I'm not the only one. If I did, they would be coming to look for me, knocking on my door, wanting to interview me. So I said, you know what? Later for that. I'm going to tell everyone. I want them to see my story from beginning to end. If I have to die from this, you guys are going to watch me die. That's the way I thought about it. You know, but I'm going to figure this out and I want you to come along on this journey to see what's happening. So with that being said, um, like a cure, for example, or survival, somebody out there somewhere must have information for m information than this, have better information than this for my little problem. It's a big world out there. And this is a type of initiative that leads people to investigate natural cures. Programs that don't include words like terminal, palliative, and side effects, expiration de date, and cell death. Alternative, the standard sheep-like compliance, where sheep-like, oh yes, doctor, what is that? Uh, that's a man. That's another man. He's not God. He doesn't have the, you know, no, he doesn't have the final answer. The standard sheep-like compliance usually ends up as a self-fulfilling prophecy. They die on schedule. Try this one. Best advice for someone who just been told how long he has to live? Ask the doctors to put it in writing. Just ask them. They'll never do it. 
try and think about why not.